Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, this is a video response to one of my subscribers, Mary uh, Hathaway. She had a question that says, uh, could you please go over the device you use to free up space on your, on your iPhone? How exactly does it work? And uh, I'm using my Sony action cam to be able to be able to videotape this and you can see there that uh, you can use my phone to control the camera. This is the SanDisk I expand that I uh, that I talked about and I had three of these this is a 64 gig uh, there's a, I don't know if you can see it or not there's a little tiny you can see that little tiny dot right there that's a little LED um, it's it's uh, your power indicator when you get these it'll have some charge on it you'll need to throw it into USB and fully charge it when it turns green it's fully charged and honestly as long as um, as long as I kept this uh, in my sleeping bag with me when it was going to be below freezing, as well as the other batteries, you know, your backup battery, your phone, your batteries for your headlamp, my Sony Action Cam was really susceptible to losing battery power if it got too cold. Um, it'll do fine. I, I, I never had to recharge them in the, f the four months, which was the longest uh, that I was on the trail. So anyway, how this works is, um, and hopefully it'll, if this will all work for me, all right, <clears throat> so um, there's an app. See, it says I expand sync. That's uh, right there. I, either you either get that off the app store, or I think if I remember right, once you plug this in the first time, it may even put the app on your phone. Uh, that I honestly can't remember. But uh, you know, this has a. It has a. I'm gonna put this down for a second. Hopefully, it'll stay in frame. This is just, it has just, it looks, it looks and acts and functions just like a thumb drive or a jump drive, okay? But it does have this little, this little pull away here, which you notice looks a lot like the power cord for the iPhone. And uh, you just basically plug it in. Now, you need to make sure you have enough battery power because once you do this, especially when you start downloading videos, it takes a little while to do that. And, um, and you don't have access to, to plug your phone in while you're doing this. So, okay, you see this. It asked me if it it would like to uh, uh, communicate with my with the flash drive, and you say okay, allow it, and you'll end up getting this this menu that starts up at the beginning. There is a there's a little quick start PDF that explains everything. Another uh, you know kind of a quick start guide, if you will. Um, this might be your this little exec might be your your um, your app, but I think you really probably get it off the app store. Then they have a couple of files built for you, music, photos, and videos. And I think if I remember right, there's a couple of sample uh, musics on there. There's a couple of sample videos and some, some, some photographs. I went in and cleaned all those out. So the first thing I do is I know I want to download, I'm going to download some photos because those will go pretty fast. So I select photos. Okay. And I'm going to add, I'm going to add photos. Okay. So it wants to go and and look at my where all my photos are at. Okay. Now you'll notice that uh, that in in this particular it, it basically it grabs everything. So you're going to see videos here. Okay. All right. And and so let's do some photos. So um, let's see. I'm going to download some of the family. So here's, here's, I'll tell you what, here's a couple of, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do my grandkids. So there's one of my granddaughters. We went on a date and here we are, another granddaughter on a date and uh, me in a Santa Claus hat. We don't need to keep that one. Let's see, is my shooting target for my granddaughter? Um, you can't see that, but that was her first time shooting the Glock 19. She's only 10. And she had some pretty, pretty good groupings. Okay, so, so those are some, those are some photos. And so I'm going to say, okay, select the destination, select the destination, and I want to put it in photos. Okay, so I'll say copy here, and you can do subfolders as you can see. Now it'll bring them up. It, it downloaded them, put check marks next to them, and then it asked me if I want to delete them off the off the phone. Okay, and I'll say, okay, delete. And now they will remove those from my iPhone. Okay, so it'll clear up storage. Okay, then let's say I want to go back now, and I'm going to do some 
I'm going to do some videos. Okay, so I'm going to select that. I'm going to select to some videos now. Let's see. I'm going to go back and pick out. Let's see here. So videos, videos, videos. Well, let's just do the shooting ones. Okay, here's a couple, a couple of shooting videos. Okay, select the destination. All right, videos. Copy here. Hopefully this is all in frame. And you can see that it, it's a little bit slower in transferring movies. This is why you need to make sure you have your plenty of plenty of uh, plenty of power. Make sure it's set at a hundred percent when you're doing this. So, all right. So you can see that uh, it, it takes a little bit um, of time. So once again, make sure it's full of power. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so let's delete them off of my phone. Delete. Okay. Now you can come over here too, and you can do you can do a select all. Okay, there's a select all feature down here. So if you just want to just take it and just dump it all on the drive, you don't want to separate it between uh, photos and videos, which which is what I did the first time. You just hit select all, boom, add them, and it starts going to town. Um, layout. There's some some there's some stuff there on layout. Um, if you go back here, and I think if you go up here to menu. Okay, this will tell you how much battery life is remaining. Okay, and you see it's fully charged. It'll tell me how much space I have left on my iPhone, which is kind of nice. And it tells me how much drive space I have remaining in on this on this drive. And since I just did five photographs and a couple of movies, it's still showing a hundred percent. But it'll it'll and so you can you can you can do some pretty cool stuff. You can just do some camera syncing. Um, you can put contacts on here. There's there's a lot of there's a lot of cool stuff that you can you can do with this, and and when you're done, all you do is just pull it out. Okay, all right, and then you can you can take the next one and you can you can plug the next one in and and uh, and start all over again. So that is that's it. Now I think if I remember right, uh, when it erases it, it does put it in your in your um, recently deleted box okay so let's see recently deleted and there they are so if you change your mind they're not gone forever they're still on your phone um, and you can you can recover them okay but if you're really trying to free up space on your on your iPhone you're going to have to go in there and you're going to have to delete those okay all right that's it that's it Mary hopefully that helped and uh, hope that helps anybody else out there that's using an iPhone now are there other solutions? Yes, there's cloud services out there. You got Dropbox um, and all sorts of stuff. So there's there's other solutions if you don't want to go with a hardware solution, but that's a hardware solution. Okay, everybody, any other questions? Um, put it in the uh, put it in the comment section below here, and we'll we'll try and uh, and figure it out. Thanks, everybody. Bye.